So what, you're just going to have to turn it up later? Yeah. I just did it. Fix it in post. <clears throat> kind of makes me upset that I can't see my lines. <laughs> Don't worry about the monitor, Jared. <laughs> Why? I just, That's right, his fine. job. Fine. I, but, hey, man. I'm just telling you what he told me a long time ago. <laughs> he gets mad when you worry about his shit. Okay. I don't want to make anybody mad. That, that clearly has a lot of tequila in it. Is it spicy? Uh, yeah. No. Well, I mean, last week you were screaming, that shit's spicy. Yeah. No, it is spicy. Like an obnoxious. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. got a little spice to it. It's spicy in two senses. <laughs> I think last week it was so hot because everything was loud. <laughs> oh, every yeah. Well, that makes sense. That does make sense. Bro, I've been farting for 20 consecutive hours. Dude. At least every hour on the hour. Same. Like, just... Is that where we're starting today? Yeah. We're starting with... Okay. It's been... <laughs> so that's where we're going with this? I just farted about 10 minutes ago. I thought I shit my pants. Yep. Been there. It was wet. It was a little busy, was it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little busy? It felt fucking great, though. Let me tell you. Nice, dude. When was the last time you shit your pants? Last time I shit my pants? Like, shit like, actually went into your pants. How old oh, were you? Oh, I don't know. It, it was First some, grade? Yeah. It had to be a long time ago. Really? Yeah. I was definitely over 18. Um. <laughs> I don't think I've ever fully like shit. Like shit, like went like, like, like actual shit. Like poo poo was in the pants. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, I think I had one time where I like. It happened at Celebration. I thought it was a fart. It was not a fart. <laughs> oh. It was just a little bit, a little bit of poop in there. I feel like that's like somebody, somebody shitting themselves is definitely a good day for Celebration. <laughs> Like that's that that's the least of their concerns. There. <laughs> Honestly, like, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean that's a theater on the south side of land. Like that, yeah, that's a good day. That's a good day. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it wasn't a good day for me. I'll tell you that. Much. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you deal with that? Huh? How did you deal with that? You just just carry on. Um. Well, I went to the bathroom and then I wiped it out with toilet paper and proceeded to carry on with my day until I got home. What would you do if you were <laughs> out in public? And you had to take a shit. You get in the stall, shit. There's no toilet paper in the bathroom. You didn't realize till after you shit. What would you do? Hmm. That's totally scenario dependent. Is there other people like, in the bathroom? No. Then I'm waddling to another stall and grab some toilet paper. No, there's no toilet paper in the bathroom. Whatsoever. More, none. Zero. Zero. Are you using your boxer to clean it up, bro? No, I guess you gotta use your hand and wash it. How is that? All right. How is that scenario dependent, Jared? Because, man, like, what if I'm close to home? I'm just gonna walk home or go home, take a (laughs) shower. If I got shit to do, I might wash my ass in the sink. Damn. Fuck, get up in there. (laughs) Well, I mean, mean, you know, he makes a point. Like, if it's important shit, you gotta do it. Like, you know, the show must go on here. You know, maybe just like you said, wipe with the boxers, toss them. Okay. But still, but generally, I'm just going home. Do you know how bad you know how bad it would be to have to wash your asshole at a Walmart yeah. in that situation? First Ooh. off, those sinks suck. That's like, d- 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 doesn't always turn on, so then oh. you're just like, oh yeah, the motion sensors. Yeah, that's right, that's the a good motion point. sensors. Yeah, that that would suck. <laughs> I'd probably try and then just give up. You literally just gotta keep waving your hand like this while you're trying to cup water in your asshole. That's a bad idea. Yeah, dude that that would take that would take and a lot more coordination than people would give it credit for. And that's what we call the poor man's bidet. <laughs> <laughs> you think they just start putting bidets in public places? Why don't they? Yeah, it's a lot of money. Maybe. Probably. I feel like, like there's cheap bidets at this point. Money. Yeah. You know, it's more money than not putting them in. That's true. They also pay like five cents for a fucking roll of toilet paper. Yeah. So, well, nah, the second you get the second you get a southern like super conservative person, I ain't putting nothing near my asshole. Yeah, <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> dude, that saying is taking a wild turn. Like, I holy know, dude. shit! I know. Now, now you got like everyone just saying "Let's go, Brandon" all the time. You got your super conservative saying "Nope, let's go, Brandon." And then you got the Democrats who have now turned it and said, yeah, let's go burn and fuck it. Like, you know, like, we got just people. I've just, then, you know, poor Brandon Brown. <laughs> like, I, like, I, I won my first like, race shit. ever. I own my own team with my dad. Like, it was an important moment for us. And now you guys have politicized it. Go You're fuck right? yourselves. Like, like. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like NASCAR. They don't even, they are trying to shut down people saying, let's go Brandon. To which my answer is, 
you won a race in Alabama. What do you expect? <laughs> mm-hmm. The year prior, they hung a noose in Bubba Wallace's garage. So, yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> yeah, literally like last year. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's water yeah. good as hell. Yeah, yeah, listen, if we're going to talk about a fan base that is visibly racist, <laughs> <laughs> the Alabama's the first place we're going to. You know, you're really just stirred up for a fucking issue when you're like, uh, entrance into like stadiums for racetracks, like you're allowed to bring in beer. <laughs> like you're allowed to BYOB the, these events. <laughs> I had some dude in my chat who was talking about how when, for the whole Talladega race, he went for the whole weekend and camped on the north fucking campground. And uh, he was like, yep, saw a lot of people fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot well, of people fucking. At, he said, I saw a lot of cheeks, bro. <laughs> had times at MIS, bro, walking around in the oh, yeah. infield and just titties everywhere oh, bro yeah. i was like 10 years old I, it was great and that's in the Pretty fucking hard. north bro i don't even know if my dick could get hard at that age bro <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> so that reminds me <laughs> real quick this is episode 50 we're at the half a century mark um that's not how that works oh uh, yeah this is how that works <laughs> <laughs> i just said it <laughs> this is episode 50 um and jared is here hi jared uh oh. real quick though before we jump into that we kind of glossed over the fact last week. Speck made a very uh, oh, God. vulnerable, had a very vulnerable moment. Oh no! <laughs> on the pod, and me and Josh didn't really understand what he was saying at the time. Josh was too hungover, and I'm an idiot. Yeah, I remember so, now. <laughs> Speck only has one ball. Uni. I was drunk oh, for yeah. the record. His Uni. nickname is the Uniballer. <laughs> it's fucking call- dope. <laughs> I realized that they didn't take me serious when I said it on the pod. Yeah, we had the so conversation after. So I called after. my best friend when we got off the, when we shut down the recording, called my best friend. I was like, Scott, I was like, I have one nut. He was like, yeah. I was like, what they call me? He goes, do you going to ball? I was like, fucking told you guys. <laughs> yeah, dude, we didn't believe him. That shit was crazy. Oh my hey, that's fucking nuts. I, I had <laughs> yeah. a lot going on. So we on just there. glossed over like potential topic gold there. Bro, you, you, and, you and Lance Armstrong are of the same build. <laughs> I'm a fucking athlete, I guess. Built I different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still get my nut off. It's okay. So now I feel really bad for every short joke that I've ever made. <laughs> yeah. he's had I'm like missing ha- testosterone. Has had, has had half the testosterone his whole life. He's 5'6". Right. Bro, he'd be like 6'7". Hey, come on. Oh, come on. What are you, like 5'8"? Five, 5'7 five, and a half. All right. Bro. Well, sorry. All right. See, <laughs> now I feel bad for that. I feel bad. Man. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Sheesh. Like, oh, you would, yeah. my point is, you'd be 6'7". Yeah, you know? probably. I mean, yeah, more likely. Ugh. That's fucking it crazy. It does make sense, bro. though, because if you've met his dad, his dad's tall. Really? Yeah, his dad's tall, bro. <laughs> oh, so that was the tall dude with the Bucks jersey when he was wearing the red. Oh, yep. got you. His dad's <laughs> tall, bro. I fucking hate you for telling him that, bro. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. He found that on his own. No, he, he doesn't even have a fucking Facebook. Huh? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no. I literally had a conversation with him. I was like, as long as Jeremy never finds those pictures, next fucking week, he, Jeremy says something about it. I'm like, oh, I wonder how he found that out. <laughs> I, I think it was when you pissed him off during a Michigan game. I didn't even piss him <laughs> off. I was sleeping. He didn't believe me when I told him Purdue was going to upset them. Duh, shut the... F- no, we're moving on. Yeah, okay. We're not doing so that. you guys went to Detroit one time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you really wanted to move no, on. No, we're not talking about it. No, we're not going to talk about the it. The Uniballer has spoken. <laughs> we, we move on. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm changing my Twitter name to Uniballer. You know that's going to be go. the name of this episode. Oh, the Uniballer. <laughs> Uniballer. You missed out. That could have been last week's. That's actually was, a really clever name, bro. You I talking, thought this was going to be called talking about Poopy Devil, Pod. You talking about Devil's Threesomes with Justin Bieber was probably the Yeah, word. that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, I mean, I still stand by it. I was drunk, but I meant it. <laughs> you and a baller. He's literally, literally doing it right now. <laughs> you and a baller. Nice. Hard. That's sick. Should I just tweet hard? No, I, I think I think <clears throat> what really got that I'm pissed got uh, glossed over out of that whole thing is Josh is like, I'm going to call you El Uno. <laughs> <laughs> El Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> El Uno. That's kind of hard, too. I think I like that better than Uniballer. No, dude. Uniballer is super dude, clever. I like that. Yeah, that's really, really <laughs> yeah. Shout out, Scott. Yeah, maybe you're right, Jared. That is a little spicy. It's for sure spicy. Why is it spicy? <laughs> that is a little spicy. 
Oh, man. There was something that I was going to talk about. I can't remember what the fuck it was. I would have thought of pooping was right on the top of your head. I mean, so we already talked about how I shit my pants as an adult. <laughs> um, naturally. We talked about your nut, which mm-hmm. is weird. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was it? I don't know. I'm but, Fair um, enough. <clears throat> Not allowed to say that. Well, I just did, so. Well, we're canceled. <sighs> Yikes. Um, it's all right. We'll edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put, like, a classic bleep there? Yeah. It's like a loud one. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Old school TV one. Jeremy, did you see the uh, drink champs with Kanye? I heard about it. Holy shit. I heard he was talking his shit. Oh my God. <laughs> like, bro, that dude oh is so my... insane. Dude. Yeah, he really is. The part where he said he would have rather Drake fucked Kim than to just the rumors swirl around and he does not acknowledge it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I would have yeah. rather he just did it. So uh I thought it was fucking hilarious is <laughs> The whole Joe Budden bisexual shit this week. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. All right. So, I listened to that podcast, like, <laughs> on the way here. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes in, he was playing It's Raining Men. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Played I, I'm oh. Coming Out. It's Raining Men. Like, dude, he's just, that is oh, the I ultimate love it. troll. I'm movie. coming out. Yeah, dude. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Something wrong with him. Oh, man. But yeah, no, I didn't see that interview. Um, he said he put Jay Z, Kim Kardashian, Pusha, Drake, and Virgil on a group text, and Kid Cudi on a group text, and said, "I'm worth more than all of you put together." <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck does that? Damn, <laughs> dude. What the fuck? <laughs> First of all, you put Virgil and Jay Z in a group text alone and say that. That's already like holy shit. <laughs> Wouldn't do that. You throw Drake and Kim in there. That's wild. Dude. <laughs> and the fact Dude. that he said, I put Kim Kardashian in there. Yeah. He, he called her Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> the whole rest God of the pod, damn. he was talking about my wife, my wife, my wife. That moment, he said, I put Kim Kardashian in a group text. <laughs> That's a wild way. Dude, what like, what max, a fucking maximum guy. Effect. What a guy. He also said he would smoke anybody in a versus. Anybody. But it's hard Jay-Z. to argue. It's hard to argue. It's hard to argue. But uh, the wildest shit that he said, he had like the hardest sentence I've ever heard in my entire life. And he says, he said, he's like, yeah, so I was sitting next to Oprah talking to Steven Spielberg. I'm like, <laughs> 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 like the fuck kind of fucking what? phrase is that? He said, I was sitting next to Oprah talking to Steven Spielberg. Uh, Hillary Clinton's sitting right across from me. And I'm just like, well, where the fuck yeah. were you? <laughs> it was at Epstein's Where's Island, happening? probably. Probably. <laughs> nah, Illuminati kid. Dude, he is batshit <laughs> insane. And then he has these moments in his batshit insanity where something makes a little sense. You're like, wait, hold the fuck on. Okay. No, no. The part where he said calling him a rapper is the same as calling him the hard R. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He like he made serious? a very good point. He made a very good point. Why can't people call me an artist? I graduated from Chicago Art Institute, whatever, high prestigious school. Why can't I be called an artist? That's a very fair thing to say. But then to follow it up with calling me a rapper is the same as calling me the hard R. <laughs> and he was saying it. He wasn't saying the hard R. Yeah. Oh my God. He said it probably five times. He meant that shit. And I'm I just mean, like, listen. am I not allowed to say the word rapper no more? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What am I supposed to call a white rapper? <laughs> they're Artist. artists now. I can't, I, there's no such thing as a rapper anymore. They're <sighs> artists now. No, they're rappers. <laughs> yo, yo, that's a rapper. Oh, oh god damn it, man. Oh. I mean, like, very fair statement to make, but then to take it to that level. Rap it's like he already said that black people enslaved themselves. But yeah, now no, he's, yeah, well, he's he, going. I mean, mm. I was about to say, you got to kind of take, like, Kanye's a genius and everything. Take what he says you you kind of take what he says with a grain of salt. Because yeah, he did say do. slavery was a choice, so... Yeah, yeah. What a fucking dude. I love him. And then he said, they asked him about his haircut. Mm-hmm. And they were like, what, what's that? What do you call that? He's like, well, at first, 
I wanted to call it the Britney. <laughs> and they were like, okay, that makes sense. He's like, but now it's the yay. <laughs> and I was like, all right, here we go. It's a very thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, him talking about Drake is crazy. Oh, he like, said he was name dropping Drake. The way the no way that fucks. that man lives rent free in his head is kind of fucked up. But he's like, he's like, I go to I go to my daughter's birthday <laughs> parties and they're playing sicko mode. He's like, that's, <laughs> that's all the song, kids wanted to hear. That's all what the kids want to hear. They're talking. That song's talking shit about me, and you wonder why I gotta go to the hospital every week. <laughs> <laughs> Say, y'all wonder why I've been crazy. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, sicko mode was hard. That was, was a great was fucking hard. song. Sicko mode. Do it's we like talk he couldn't about- even tell him to turn it off because he knows it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll talk about one thing really. that's kind of serious because I'm curious on everybody's opinion on it. Oh. Since we're just Get talking out of the about way. sickle mode. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Astro World. Oh, yeah. Astro Fest. That yeah. is fucked it for really one. Fucked. Um, it just further, like, I, I don't care how it sounds, I'll stand by my, my belief on the fact that I hate going to hip hop festivals because the etiquette is super poor. Yes. Just like people don't, people aren't, people aren't friendly. (laughs) People are very aggressive and things like that where uh, a crowd compresses um, are very common. I mean, I, it almost happened to me when I went to made in America. Um, That's it's, it's just very poor planning. It's, it wasn't done right. Like there's no reason that you should have, that many people dying at a 50,000 uh, person event when you got events like uh, EDC that have 350,000 plus a year and they haven't have an incident in what, two years, two, three years? Yeah. Like it's just, it's a, it's a lot of negligence. And uh, yeah. my question is, are we putting some of that blame on Travis Scott? Some you have to. Yeah. Did you see his at deleted some, tweet? Sure. Uh uh-uh. uh. He tweeted yeah. back mm-hmm. in like June or something like that. The when, it, when it originally he sold out, the stage. he said, "No, nah, we still sneaking breaking, in some the, of the wild sneaking ones, sneaking down the gate, sne- sneaking people in, breaking down the gates, rushing." And he was, I mean, yeah, he like was they saying he wants the VIP. He wants area. everyone rushing the stage. Yeah, yeah. so it was. Yeah, you got to put some of the blame on him, and the fact that he's like singing while he's literally watching bodies put, be carried away. I put way more. Um, Blame on his on the crew. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of the crew though are people in his camp. Yeah. So I his camp's guy is gonna get hit hard. Yep. Um, listen, this isn't new. Travis Scott is known for he's the, a menace. The, it, it, yeah. He, <laughs> Travis Scott is known for the energy of his shows. Yep. He's known for um the the wild shit that goes down. Which Whenever is what he performs, which was what makes him such a good performer. Yeah. Which is why it's fucking negligent, though, because yeah. you fucking know what to expect from him at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to have the right things in place for that. Well, did you see the best form of, like, security they had to, like, stop the people from storming the place? Mm-hmm. Horses. They had, like, three cops roll up on horses. Get the fuck back. And Jesus, it worked. Really? Well, yeah. A little bit. After mm-hmm. probably 500 people ran past them. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's like, I yeah, mean, these motherfuckers are going to be scared of some horses. But, see, like, that's your best, like, that's see, all they have. You're going to see some lawsuits out of this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah, really like, lawsuits. 11 people died, I think. Mm, eight. And there was 300-plus yeah. injuries. Yeah. yeah. So, and now there's, like, this fucking weird fucking shit that's, like, surfacing where apparently they're trying to say that somebody was in the crowd just stabbing people with needles. I did hear a lot about yeah. that. Like, even the security guards were saying that there was, like, they felt the pricks. The department released a statement yeah. saying that one security guard confirmed was injected with something and overdosed and had to be revived by yeah. the Oh, yeah. well, okay. So, uh, actually, like someone so was walking around. Just- Houston Police Department, Brittany just said Houston Police Department released a statement saying that at least one security guard or officer, security guard. one security guard was injected with something and had to be. Uh, uh, had to have Narcan administered to What the fuck overdose. is this festival, bro? I don't know. Dude, but all right. He still did confirm that people died because of getting trampled and suffocated. Oh, yeah. 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 He didn't negate Well, that. one of— <clears throat> It's just another thing on top Listen, of Listen, a, a lot of people don't really understand what a human crush is or the effect, have seen the yeah. aftermath of a human crush. It is one of the most dangerous things that you can ever be a part of. Um, mm-hmm. I'm obviously a huge Liverpool fan. Liverpool is known for the— uh, um, uh, justice for the 96, right? So back in like 1989, 96 people died, 97 people died in a human crush because the yeah. gate, and it was 
kind of a similar thing, but not really. So what had happened is back in England back then during, uh, they don't have standing room anymore at soccer matches in England. And this is a direct result of this. Um, it's all seating. The only country in Europe that does any standing room anymore is Germany because for some reason it works there. I guess they're nice. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> But I guess they had opened one gate and then they were supposed to filter it through three different gates. They didn't end up doing it properly. And 96 people were pushed up against the fence and crushed. And if you look at the, some of the footage and the aftermath from that shit, it's disgusting. Um, looking at bodies that are literally compressed to death yeah, by other bodies is, and I'm not talking about being stood on. I'm talking about being pressed against yeah. forward against a fence until you die. It's nasty, dude. Yeah. It, it's nasty I mean, shit. Like I've been a part of, you know, hip hop artists at festivals. And I've felt that like just people pushing you forward and getting compacted a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I can't honestly imagine having to die that way. That's going to be terrifying. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause it's fucking, well, there's literally just, nothing you can do. Yeah. So. It's, it's good. when energy is, is compressed forward from that many people, it's, yeah, there's fucked. nothing you can do about it. And mm -hmm. the air literally just leaves your body. And yeah, you like squeeze, you start death. bleeding from your eyes and ears. Oh and my God. Like, dude. Yeah. It's, it's so nasty gnarly. shit. So um, <laughs> one other thing I heard was it's, it's avoidable is what it is. Yeah. And that's absolutely. what makes it so sad. Mm -hmm. I think. But my thing is if, the the reason I think there needs to be a, d a decent amount of blame put towards Travis and his camp is because if that festival, like it has the year years prior, um, was extremely successful weekend, who takes all the credit? Travis. Yeah. So you got to fucking pony up and you got to eat the you blame. Can't just take credit for the success and not the failure. You got to eat the blame. Events. Yeah, yeah. I got you. And he put, he did put out like a statement saying like whatever, but like. He's still going to catch a lot of flack. The one other thing that I did here that was kind of, it's like kind of proper. You should know this. Don't take drugs from people at a fucking festival that you don't know. People do it anyways. You know, it's, that's the environment, whatever. But one girl said like, I took what was supposed to be Advil from someone. I had a headache, took Advil. And she ended up in the hospital because it was like something just, yeah. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What? I don't, yeah. She she was like, I had asked someone for Advil. They were like, oh, this is Advil. Pulled it out of an Advil bottle. And it was not Advil. <laughs> yeah. That's and she up. ended up in That's the hospital. seriously fucked up. Like, That's she wasn't part crazy. of the trampling. She's like, but I got drugged because I needed, I had a headache. Yeah, right. So, like, that shit's Jesus. fucked up, too. Like, but that's what people do at these festivals, and it's terrible. That's not necessarily a reflection of that certain festival or Travis at all. That's just yeah. festivals, unfortunately. But back to your point, when you tweet shit like he did on a whim, yeah, this is the result. Yep. So, mm -hmm. You can't encourage that type and of like He did it on Twitter and IG. It's not a big deal. Like when the second it sold out, he was like, I can't believe like the amount of people that are messaging me and saying that they couldn't get tickets. It sold out so fast. He's like, we're going to find a way to sneak the wild ones in. And that was like five months ago, six months ago. Mm -hmm. And those tweets got deleted last night. Mm -hmm. I bet. Oh, yeah. So it looks bad when people from the outside bum rush a fucking fence, knock it down to sneak in, and then mass trampling happens. Mm -hmm. So that's that part's coming back on him 100%. I have noticed, I've seen a lot of festivals where that's happening, especially like hip hop festivals and stuff like that, mm -hmm. where they'll just bum rush with yeah, as many people damn. as possible yep. in one spot. Yep. It's, I've it's seen terrible. It a bunch lately. Huh? Uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, it's like tomatoes, Tabasco, and uh, I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the alcohol in it? Oh, no, that's just no alcohol in it. That's just, just the Bloody Mary. Yeah, mix. it's just a mix. Yeah, just mix straight up. You ever thought there. about making a grilled cheese and dipping it in the Bloody Mary? Ooh, that might be tasty. Yeah, like put it in a put it on like a boil. I think we should skip it. the grilling. We should do grilled cheese and Bloody Mary dipping. Bro, just get tomato soup. What? You're this not getting drunk soup. from tomato soup. 
Yeah, right. I don't know. I'm just not saying. Who the want fuck invited cheese. this guy? <laughs> I don't want grilled cheese. No, when Jared. Uh, you don't understand. Me? Jared takes his grilled cheese seriously, bro. You don't fuck up. You don't fuck up a grilled you cheese. Mean, like, are five you using cheese craft shit, singles huh? for your fucking grilled cheese? Sometimes, bro. It depends on Yikes. what kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me, <laughs> bro? I was Jesus. broke growing up. That shit was all I had. I had craft singles and Kroger white bread, bro. I'm talking about growing up. I'm talking about right now. Oh, right now, no. We we be kind of making some smack ass grilled cheeses okay. now. Remember, right. we made the we had like three different cheeses. We was using this habanero. Oh my god! Oh, oh we did the that shit was crazy. We made it with like a like a habanero. And then we watched the pepper jack. Mm. We watched the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer movie, and that was honestly like <laughs> one of the most underrated nights I've ever had. <laughs> Grilled cheese, tomato soup. Abraham Lincoln fucking vampires up. That, that movie is so underappreciated. Hard. I don't care. No, the people movie, say it's terrible. I the movie, love that the shit. movie is shit. No, but there's a there no. is a, there's love a there's it. a category where you have to learn to appreciate shit movies. No, no, no. That movie that movie was, that, was, that, that shit was gas. I think I my pussy got me watching it. that movie. It, and to my disbelief, <laughs> that is the only fucking Tim Burton thing I've ever enjoyed. Couldn't yeah. believe he did it. Really? Well, oh, couldn't that was a Tim Burton movie? No, couldn't believe he, he did it. I don't fuck with it no more. He, I think he, he did was, it. He, he directed a, it, bro. No, I think that was... Swear a, to God. That was an executive producer. Swear to God. No. I already had this argument once with her. I don't think it was. <laughs> yeah, Google Damn, me. Halloween already Fucking, passed. Hey, Google. Who directed Abraham Lincoln's zombie killer? <laughs> <laughs> that Bloody Mary hit. <laughs> no. Tim, it was uh, Timur... Beckman Batov. So what? He created Russian, it? TV, it, it counts. <laughs> Russian That's film director, insane. yeah. So who, did Tim Burton create it then? No, he, I think he was an executive producer on it. Why did IMDb list him as a director? You, you're not, uh, no, they didn't because nice. I'm looking at IMDb. Wait, Fuck! Yeah, you don't want, you want to go there with movies with me, bro. It's kind of embarrassing. I tried. I tried. <laughs> no, that was, that shit was gas though. I love that. Fuck. Listen, whenever I can suspend belief, you can do all the dumb shit you want. Dude, that was but great. Don't, don't pretend to be like, you know, a fucking biopic and give me <laughs> fucking Fast and the Furious, you know? Like, if just give me one or the other and I'm good. Like, I appreciate shit movies. I love Is that. Is Fast and the Furious yeah. done yet? No, never will be done. Golly, no, dude, man. why would they? I can't wait till they cross it over with fucking Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be fucking great. <laughs> Not that Not, far away. Dude. Shit, dude. How long until South Park Dom, makes the Fucking that Dom Toretto. Fucking, yeah, Dog. dude, listen. I haven't even watched the new one. He's going to be on Tatooine fucking people up. Dog. Dude, so listen, the pod, I, they, 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 they thought Anakin was a good pod racer. Wait till Dom Toretto gets in one of those fuckers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, listen. <laughs> like, I just don't understand how this series has gravitated to this direction. <laughs> no, I need that, bro. I need someone. I don't care if it's animated. Respect, I have put it. I have Dude. put an embarrassing amount of thought into this. Dude, I need this. Can you make no, it happen? I swear to you, bro. Wait, Wait. We're starting to GoFundMe. We're making this happen. I need Don Toretto, Luke Skywalker racing. And bro. I've also thought about them like crossing over Who the Fast and the Furious there? with John Wick. We'll also like, put Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that would, bitch. That would be sick, actually. I don't care, dude. Like, John Wick loses. If I get Jason Statham in space, I'm good. <laughs> Wait. Speaking of racing, I said some of the most f- dumb but funny shit ever last night. You said speaking of racist? Racing? Oh, it's like, racing? Jesus. Vroom, Roman? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Don't say it out loud. We was playing Mario Party last night, and there was a racing mini game. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I called myself Dale Earnhardt Jr. to second. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny, bro. Dude, that, I love that phrase. <laughs> I don't know okay. what it is about that. I'm rolling with that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Dale okay. Earnhardt Jr. I was, the I was second, skirting bro. through that bitch, bro. <laughs> I had all the stars. I was killing, but the racing ones, I was Dale Earnhardt Jr. the second, bro. <laughs> it was great. It was great. <laughs> we had a we had a fantastic time. It was love. So we need to put Dale Earnhardt Jr. the second in this movie too. Okay. <laughs> AKA me. Okay. I'm right. being a really. Movie. Yeah, I I, you really can call my character Uniballer too. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right, no, I'm in. No, I'm I'm in. Told. you're a villain. You're gonna be El Uno. Yeah. El Uno. <laughs> can we have me and El Uno? Can we have Uniballer and El Uno? Wait, are you gonna do a movie of Face Off? Are you gonna be Nick Cage? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, there will be no Face Off slander on this pod either. <laughs> I've never that seen is Face one Off. One of the greatest movies ever made. Oh, that's so. steep. 
No. It's a good movie. No, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. Steep. Watch it again. Steep. It's John Woo and in his prime. Steep. With Nick Cage, bro. It doesn't get better than that. Steep. No. Mm. And who else was in that? Fucking Travolta? Yeah. Duh. Come on. <laughs> like, right off his fucking Pulp Fiction high? Like, dude. Yeah. That Yo, did we talk about Alec Baldwin legendary. yet? We, we did bring that up last week, didn't no, we? No, we didn't. No? Who cares? Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't. I didn't really look Somebody into it. Die. I just seen a lot of memes. I mean, yeah. yeah, someone died. If it's like sad or whatever, but like <coughs> I seen a lot of memes. That shit was funny, dude. Yeah, I see those memes. And I'm like, wow, that's hilarious. And then I sit there for a second. And, and you're like, like wow, that's pretty. Fucked I mean, it's up. the yeah. same story, different people, bro. It's a production team cutting corners on funds to, and it just, in the middle just, of a it, fucking and it just got uh, overlooked. Union strike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's the worst yeah. part. Basically proving the point of yep. every fucking like you know, basically everything that's going on in. Basically, the whole country right now. Like, hey, pay people what they're worth, and uh, mm-hmm. you'll get good production. Yo, do you see a completely unhinged fucking post of somebody? They got a part-time job at a fucking Wendy's to help with the labor shortage because they're doing uh, their part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, more power to them. I was oh, like, yeah. are you like? They have a good job. They're like, they're like these off. these left Democrats Ooh. don't want to fucking work. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm going to do my part and get a part-time job. I was like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> nah, dude. I, I, I mean, I heard the new Wendy's you. fries are to die for, though, so it might have been worth it. Yeah, that's that's the agenda. <laughs> Let's be honest. This fucking guy. What a dude. He said, hold on, let me talk about this. I met Alec no, Baldwin no, no, once. No, that's nah, not for you. Bobo. <laughs> Easy now. He said, I smell that. That shit's spicy. <laughs> Haven't you oh. noticed? Speckle, Speck only has like two voices. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's just every animal. Speck will tell a story with six characters and they all have the same voice. <laughs> yeah. I give you that. <laughs> it's Speck and, oh, what's your dog, buddy? <laughs> That was literally it. That was like, I mean, if he had two balls, he'd probably have four boys. Yeah. I can't help it. That's all I got. Would you cut the guy a break? That's all I'm saying. Come on. Jesus. See, y'all feel bad for me now. Cut the shit. Yeah, cut that the fuck out. (laughs) Lobo, you bump that camera, we're going to have problems. (laughs) He's fucking looking testy today. Yeah, he He looks like he just want to lift his paw and just go. Jared's here for fucking three days and we got Lobo acting like shit already. <laughs> that dude loves to test me. Yeah. Oh, this dog has done some really fucked up shit right in front of our eyes, yeah. bro. And it's not good. He's like cute as hell and he's super smart, but he's mm-hmm. too smart for his own good because he just does shit because he knows it's going to piss you off. <laughs> he does. I swear to God he does. Yeah, he'd be opening my bedroom door now and just fucking... Yeah, he learned how to open doors, so that's fun. Yeah, that's Jesus, good. really? Yeah. <laughs> I had a bag of candy in my bedroom that man got into one time. The other day, he opened the door to this bathroom, walked into the bathroom, and then got in the shower with me. Hey, what? Into the shower. I, was like, what the I don't know. He, well, he, did you clean him up? <laughs> no. Golly. He's just old now, bro. He's yeah. just old, and I guess he just he's like walking. He's like, I'm trying to see some pussy. So the way that those... <laughs> <laughs> Old dudes do get aggressive <gasps> with it. Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, so, <laughs> <laughs> oh. so the way those productions work is there's a prop master. <laughs> oh, we're back on that. I yeah. was like, wait, was what like, are we wait. talking about? <laughs> there's a prop master uh, that is supposed to hand guns that are either loaded or not loaded or loaded with blanks or the rubber guns. Well, don't they have an armor specifically for that? Yeah. Not just a prop, prop master? Right. There's a prop master and there's somebody who's really responsible for the gun. Oh, okay. But those two work together, right? Right. So in that story, uh, it was actually the AD, the assistant director, handed the gun to Baldwin. They said, go for a rehearsal and, you know, the rest is history, right? So somebody's going down on oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, nobody is supposed to handle the weapons on a set besides the prop master and mm-hmm. the person who is responsible for the weapons. Nobody. I mean, that is... That's what happened after... Like, all those regulations in Hollywood happened after Brandon Lee died. Like, because yeah. that's exactly how he died, was an improperly loaded gun. Mm-hmm. How long ago was that? Uh, 94. So, yeah, that an AD should never be handing a weapon. I was going to say, it seems like that's the guy that's going down with it then. I heard the only reason they even had live 
live bullets on the fucking <laughs> set. It's because they were taking the guns like after shooting and going and using them to go shooting with. Uh, that Oof. may be true. I don't know but, how true it is. I mean, they're in the middle of the desert in New Mexico. There ain't much else to do. But yeah. um, they also use live rounds to load to get shots of them loading the weapons because it looks more realistic. Oh, uh, right, yeah. You that know what I'm sense. saying? But either way, well, you the- can you can do that with blanks. There's no yeah. reason. I was going to say, isn't there... It's just stupid. It's, it's going the extra mile for something that the audience will never notice. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah. And that's just, again, negligence. You know? Yeah. Completely. Ridiculous. Like, that shit was nuts. But, I mean, it sounds the way that... She, because she... The cinematographer was killed and the director was hit. Mm-hmm. So what it sounds like is he was lined up behind her. They were getting a shot lined up. The bullet passed through her. Hit the yeah. director, so that's <clears throat> fucked up, dude. Damn. That's tragic. Yes. It really is. <laughs> that's messed up. So that shit was on camera too. Uh, it doesn't that? sound like they were doing a take. It sounds like they were rehearsing yeah. a take. So mm. that's rough. He man. didn't even mean to shoot either, did he? No, it just went off. Yeah, I think so. That's even worse. For I mean, like people are making fun of Alec Baldwin like crazy right now, but that's gotta be no. no, he no he's hate. He hates yeah, his life dude. right now. Yeah. I don't see him doing anything for a while now. Yeah. I mean, there's no way they finish that movie, so. No, that, yeah. that, that shit's over. <laughs> yeah. That shit's over. But it was messy to begin with. Yeah. But either way. So you guys had a, uh, you, and since Jared is here, you guys had a fucking story to tell. And I'm interested. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I don't think I've heard it. I swear, every time we link up, we talk about this story because it's just it was just such a wild experience. Um, <clears throat> so this was, what was this, like, Oops. four years ago? Five? Three or four, yeah. Fuck, yeah, it might have been four. Yeah, it's like four years ago. We're in we're in the heart of Royal Oak. I get a call from one of my buddies. He's like, hey, you got to come out. Uh, we're going to go to this event, and we're, we're just going to have a real good night. I was like, all right, bet. So I'm with Jared. So Jared and I, <clears throat> we roll out there, <clears throat> and uh, we get to this house, and we're going to— an event called Holidays, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's a charity event that um, IC Stars puts on. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Big fan of IC Stars. Love, I've always loved IC Stars, right? So we get there. I was like, cool, what are we, what are we going to do? Uh, and we're just hanging out. And uh, he's like, well, we're waiting for them to get here. And I was like, what do you mean them? He's like, <laughs> IC Stars. I was like, they're, like, they're going to come here. He's like, Yeah. I was like, well, where are we? He's like, They're, we're at one of their brother's houses. I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> so, <laughs> they, sure as shit, they come in the house. You know, we dap them up. We, we got to meet them and stuff like that. And then we go to holidays. We're getting shit-faced and shit like that. And then uh, one of them comes up to me and it's like, hey, heard you're a DJ. I was like, yeah. They're like, you trying to DJ this after party? And I literally, yeah. when we when we fucking left... Um, to head to Royal Oak, I was like, I'm just going to put this DJ equipment in the trunk just in case because you never know. Yeah, he literally said that. <laughs> <laughs> and sure as shit, the optimum situation happens and um, we go and we set up for the, for this after party and I start DJing and uh, <clears throat> the who's actually a friend of mine now, which is fucked up. <laughs> um, he comes up to me, he's like, yo, you're killing it. Slides me something. I was like, Oh, thanks, bro. And he's like, you're not going to take it right now? I was like, nah, yeah, I'm going to take it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it. And, uh, well, an hour later, I'm tripping absolute dick in a basement <laughs> DJ and, <laughs> like, tripping balls. Yeah. And uh, then, like, I'm, like, DJing, and I'm in this trance. And I swear to God, it must have, like, lo- it felt like I looked down, and I looked back up. And the entire place is filled with Russians, like very sketchy ones. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, nowhere. what the fuck is going on? And I, I'm like, obviously tripping balls. And I come up to Jared after I get done DJing. And there's another DJ. And uh, I'm like, yo, we got to get the fuck out of here. He's like, no, nah, chill out, man. Chill out. <laughs> chill out. It's fine. And then, the, shit, you know, there's a fucking dude that comes up to Jared. And he's sitting there talking. He's like, I bet you and me. We kill everybody in here. I was like, dude, yeah, that was like towards the end of the night. This dude's straight up. I, I like, I've been drunk all night. I had been gone to sleep and woken up. We were <laughs> hanging out with a bunch of people in the living room, and this dude's standing next to me. He's like, hey, you know, you and me could probably kill everybody in this room, right? <laughs> and I was like, 
I took a second. <laughs> I was I was like, because Josh had been saying that it's sketchy, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? I've been asleep for the past couple hours. <laughs> and now it's like, I mean, you know, I guess if maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe if we had to, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You know, you look pretty strong, I guess. <laughs> just just trying not to instigate anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? You're trying to be a voice of reason yeah. here. I mean... <sighs> it was really... Oh, maybe. Bro, and, like, so, like, obviously when you're on acid, like, you're just completely, like, your environment is your trip. Like, yep. it, whatever environment you're in is going to dictate how that night's going to go for you. <laughs> and it has changed to where the lighting went to strobe lights and then it is just very, very deep and dark techno. Yeah. Just curl, curl, curl. And there's like motherfuckers like dressed up in like steampunk, like industrial style shit. Yeah. And nobody's speaking English. <laughs> and it's just like a bunch of just sketchy dudes in a basement. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> like, I'm like freaked out. You, in thought this you, were in, you thought you were in a scene from Eastern Promises? Like. Dude. <laughs> it was not good. And then we're sitting here on the couch. Jared's drunk off his ass and a coin infomercial comes on TV. He's like, fuck it, I'm calling him. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Called and tried to order a coin. <laughs> they didn't even fucking answer, bro. They told me to use my email. It's like, I'm not doing that. What the fuck? They were, it was like on a projector. I'm and like as if this night wall. could not get any more fucking random, guess who shows up who? in the middle of Royal Oak, two hours from our house? Who? F- Wyatt Howard. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Shut up. He's like, oh my God. hey, what's up, dude? I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, yeah, he showed up just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> Is that a friend of yours? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, like am I dude, supposed to know that name? He, he makes Jared look small. He does. He's big. He, yeah. Speaking of... Like Wyatt fell asleep. Wyatt understood how sketchy this place was. Yeah. <laughs> he fell asleep on the couch with his hand on his gun. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> and while he's asleep on the couch, bro, this fucking enormous Russian walks Dude, by. Bigger like, than Wyatt. Like, picture like your stereotypical huge Russian, like bald, just neck, just yeah. yacked. Dude, right? Just Doesn't chest. speak English. He walks by, he points at Wyatt, he goes, Big boy. <laughs> he kept walking. <laughs> I was like, holy yes, dude. shit. Josh, you and me turned to each other after that, after he like walked away and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like dude. this is the moment, like if that happened today, this is the moment when Josh is DJing, he picks up that microphone, shuts the music off for a second and just yells that he is the machine and then puts the music back on. <laughs> I am the machine. I am the machine. And then just starts playing again and everybody just goes fucking crazy. Dude, Fuck, I mean, dude. also, Josh, when you took that acid, like, you, you told me later that night that that dude slid you that acid mm-hmm. and then you took it while he, he like, turned, turned away for a second. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, where's the other one? Oh, yep. <laughs> So I double dosed. Yeah. Oh, oh my like, god. Like one of those was for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was balls deep oh, in yeah. it. Yeah. And like, oh, as the night, like, there's just the amount of things that happen this night is crazy. Like, oh my god, yeah. the night's like wrapping up. It's like it's like five o'clock in the fucking morning. There's like ten people left there, right? Mm-hmm. And there's and we're all just sitting around on the couches. Uh, it's uh, Jared and I, Wyatt, D Tuck, and like a bunch of random people, right? And we're like watching TV and like watching Sports Center and shit, you know, trying to come down. And like this guy and this other guy, like they're having conversations about MMA, but it's like really sexual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I don't know yeah. how to explain that other than the fact like they're talking about how how much a great fighter he is and then they're also like look how strong his arms are and stuff like that <laughs> and it's like very sexual and obviously like I'm still tripping so like I have no filter I'm just hyper aware of everything I'm like hey hold on a second do you two fuck each other? <laughs> and they look at each other and they say yeah and I was <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> Wasn't that the same dude that asked if we could kill everybody in that room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, oh, that it, just... Like, it truly was wild. And, you know, when I think about it on paper, that's the last time I ever did acid. <laughs> I, I have not done it since. Um, the that was a, that was a, it was a long day. Yeah. <laughs> then we had to drive home. Then we, yeah, then we had to drive home. My car battery died that night. Yeah, like, what the fuck? We were sitting in the we car. We couldn't leave because his car was dead. Yeah. We were sitting in the car listening to music with somebody that we met at the party. 
And we were there for like in the car for 15, 20 minutes with the fucking, I don't think the car was on. It must not have been. No way. But dude, 10, 15 minutes, my fucking car battery died. <sighs> and <laughs> so like while we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on, everything's crazy. He's freaking out because he's on acid. <laughs> and and <laughs> cool. my car's fucking dead. <laughs> like, wow. Coolest moment of the night, though, I will say, before shit hit the fan. We're sitting in this car. We're talking with this random guy who's, like, showing us some music. Jared and I have heard a song that I think maybe 10 people in the oh, world yeah. have heard. And it's nuts. It's it's a, it's a it's a drum and bass track with Jaws and this dude. Mm-hmm. And the, the vocals on it is the old, is the now dead uh, singer from We Came As Romans. Because they all knew each other yeah. and they were friends. So we heard like literally an unreleased song that will never come out. Yeah, I don't think it's ever it's, coming it's out. It's ever going to come out. He said it's like, it's, it's like his little last gift of him. And we got to hear that song. And it was yes. amazing. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. It's like one of the best Jesus. electronic songs I've ever heard. I didn't, dude, the I didn't amount know, like, of things that happened that night, like <laughs> what the fuck, dude? dude? Like, it was one after another too. Just ever. Oh, and then I'm at the fucking the the charity event, and guess who I fucking run into there? Steph. Steph's there. Yeah, Steph. She's like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" I was like, "What are you doing here?" She's like, "I know them." I was like, "How?" <laughs> yeah, that was a wild night, man. Fuck. I missed you know, a lot of it, but now that I think of it, I haven't done ass since that day either. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Says. I've never done acid, so in theory, <laughs> okay. well, I mean, yeah. since that day, technically, yeah. still haven't done acid. Oh, you clever. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking good. Oh, huh? I see what you did there. I'm fucking good. I see, what you, I see what you did. You see that? Yeah. I'm fucking good, yeah, bro. Spec's so underrated, dude. Brother, listen to me. <laughs> I'm good, brother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey. man, it's it's interesting because all bullshit aside, it's it's kind of cool how like just music in itself will just connect people. Mm-hmm. Like it, everybody that we met was like leaps and bounds, like more known than me, more everything, and it was just at such like a like a human level. Oh yeah, the entire so night, cool. like there was no like stardom there whatsoever. No. It was just it was just conversations with people having a good time. Yeah, all those dudes were super chill. Like fucking, I was like looking for his phone, and I for some reason decided to fuck with him. And I don't even know what possessed me to do that. Probably because I was an acid, and he was too. And uh, he's like, I can't find my fucking phone. And I was like, dude, I don't know. And last I saw, it was in the couch. It's in my back pocket. Oh my and, god, yeah. And he's like literally just ransacking the couch, dude, the entire couch, <laughs> like destroying. <laughs> he took it. everything off of it. And then he gets up. He's like, I don't know where it is. I was like, Oh, dude, it's right here. He's like, Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even tell him that you were fucking with him either. No. He just left after that. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I do that shit all the time. I never insane, tell anybody bro. that I'm fucking with him. I just that let is, him be mad. That is very true. Yeah. <laughs> it's very true. I, I don't know. It ruins the joke for me. And the, yeah, really the most important part of the joke is my interpretation of it. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's not for anybody else. No. Only for Jeremy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the wildest part about that night is the gap in like how crazy that was for me and him like he was like straight up scared <laughs> not like because it Terrified. was just crazy shit going on these wild fucking russian german people doing wild <laughs> shit saying wild shit but i was asleep for most of the time when they were doing and saying the wild shit so i woke up and i'm like dude he's like freaky he's like, we gotta go and i'm like i just woke up i'm hungover still a little drunk i can't drive my car's dead but chill out we're good and then afterwards <laughs> we were talking about it on the way home, and I realized how fucked it actually was at some points. <laughs> so and you were just like, nah, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, the whole, the whole time. I was like, dude, I don't understand. Like, you're on, I just, you're on acid. I get it. Freaking out a little bit, maybe, whatever. It's a crazy situation. You're overreacting. And then I realized he really wasn't freaking out too much. <laughs> like, he was justified. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that also, unfortunately, was the first time I had ever done uh, that. In a, in a group setting. You know what would have made this situation yeah. a lot worse? <laughs> huh? Bryant. Yep. Holy fuck. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. 100%. he have been crying or something. <laughs> <I'm fucking> yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I just got to leave. <laughs> no, dude, I just got to leave. He just walked home on the highway. <laughs> dude, I, we would have been taking care of him the whole fucking night. Holy Is there shit. any more to this story before I say some pretty fucked up shit? Yeah, go ahead. 
How uh, how many times someone asked you to send them a video of you nutting with the sound on? With the sound on? Yeah. They want to hear it. It's a weird, I don't know. I do it. <laughs> Never done that. What? Have, have you been asked though? No. No, hold on. So I have questions. It's a very specific <laughs> request. I have some like, questions. Yeah. I thought it was just, with, I don't know. With, when, like when they go out of their way to make sure the sound. They works. say okay. like, leave the sound off. I've seen this on Twitter a little bit. You know, people, <laughs> people like, they, hmm? they say it's like men who send nut videos with the sound on it. We're in, yeah. di- we're we're in different it's, corners of Twitter. Right? It's, yeah, just yeah, like, it's just like, <laughs> take it aback. So <laughs> what, it, what are they looking for? In the video, sound wise, they're like, trying to find you vulnerable, like, what's bro. Good, I swear, AS, what, ASMR, bro. What makes yeah. a good nut video? I guess <laughs> would grunting. be the question I have to ask. Honestly, I don't think they give a shit like about. Like you moan. I feel like that's what they're looking for. They want to hear yeah. some wild you shit. Do I mm. moan? Do you moan when you send your nut video? I've never, I've never made a sound while nutting in my life. So what? What's the point of having the sound on? Mm. I don't know, but I give it to it. So they just want the fucking <laughs> static in the background. Maybe. I feel like they want the moan. No, they get they, they just get to hear my ceiling fan in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I hope that fucking helps. They just hear you squishing on your rod, bro. Like, what's <laughs> going on? Squishing on your rod. No, that's when you send actually, a, when you send a nut video. Do you dry rub or do you, are you squishing on it? No, always, I've never used hmm. any lotions or nothing, like ever. Really Never do. dry rub, bro. Like, there was one time. Jesus, there was one time, a, like a, not, I was we're not 18. fucking making Jesus, spare ribs, bro. bro. You can't. Just dry. <laughs> nah, there was one God, time when dude. I was eighteen. This isn't the Nashville. When dry this rub, girl bro. that I had like, went out with, like straight up, like we got started, and the first thing she did was grab lube and start, you know, you whatever. Born in a barn. <laughs> that was the only time that I've ever used anything. Hey, hold on. Give me, let's give him bath. Yeah, right, Maybe right, he gets right. worked up too much and uses his sweat. No. Oh. No, you nasty. I don't even like like <laughs> like jerking in the shower. I don't even do that because it doesn't you feel right. Sp- you you quite literally spit on it before you do it. That's no. gross, bro. <laughs> That's I'm, it. That's I'm, just gross. I don't, I don't know. I know this is controversial, but I'm on spec side here. You drive uh, up? You yeah. Drive? yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't even do it in the efficient. shower. Like, <laughs> they just efficient. no cleanup. You ever tried to clean lotion off your dick, man? Yeah, it's a pain see, in the ass. Thank you. That sounds. W- I don't know. Worth it. <laughs> I mean, yes, I don't know. It's like, for real, after to tell I you. Nut, bro, I don't want to do shit. I want to go to sleep. I want to lay down and just be upset about what I watched. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, honestly, I want to delete my history right away and go, holy shit, what was I doing? Lay down and be upset about what I watched. <laughs> Why was I looking at that? <laughs> y'all ever, y'all ever just been sitting around and be I just like, wallow in my shame. I want to look up. <laughs> y'all ever, y'all ever just been sitting there and you're like, fuck it, midget porn. <sighs> Midgets Not don't really do it for me. But. No, but neither, neither do they do. They don't do it for me either. But have like, there's nutted? been a time. Have you nutted? Yeah. Then they do it for you. No, they don't. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite simple. On some level. It's quite simple. They, Listen, just, if you watch a video of two guys getting butt fucked and you nut, guess what? You're into that. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm going to make it work. So if you nut to, you, what do you mean you're going to make it work? I wasn't, I've never gone back <laughs> yeah. to it is what I'm saying. In that moment, I was like, all right, cool. Okay. You ever accidentally, you know it's the worst when you like accidentally nut looking at the guy's face when that shot Dude, oh uh, yeah. Up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's like the worst, bro. For the record, let me just put this out. My favorite part of porn is the blowjob. Might be a little bit gay. A little bit gay. I mean... Love seeing them bitches look up at the camera. She's doing a good job, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sloppy. Spitting on it. Looking up at the camera. Oh, I love it. A plus effort. Yeah. It's all I ask. Just give your best effort. She's doing a great job. When they've thrown the tongue on the balls. Come on. (laughs) Come on. Hot. (laughs) Hey, Brittany, will you give me another beer? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh my God. God. Speck is the king of segues, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody does segues like Speck. No, we were watching Theo Von, that one you were talking about. Uh-huh. We were watching the Theo Von last night. And that man's pauses are ridiculous. Oh my God, yeah, they are. Yeah. That man's... Pa- he pauses so perfectly. Josh <laughs> brought it up and I was like, that's so fair. Yep. That's so fair. 
yeah, there, there's there's an art to telling a story like that. Yes. There's only a couple people that can do it like that. Yeah. I also just want you to know. is one of those guys. It but. is 10 a.m. and this is my second 8% beer this morning. <laughs> Sunday fun day has begun. Oh, Cheers, yeah. fuckers. Cheers. Wait, what do we what do we ask? Yeah. Why do they do it? Why did we Oh wait, y'all do y'all ask for nut videos oh. with the sound on? I never asked for it, but I know why I want it. I appreciate it. Okay. It's also like I think like Come here, Brittany. Come here. Yeah, Come get here. on. Yeah, we speak need, into the mic. Yeah. Speak into the mic. This we need this. Wait, yeah. No, no we yeah, need this. Uh, it's okay. I won't, I won't even do it. I'll keep the camera on Josh. You, yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, here I come. I'm sitting in your knees right now. So what do you, why do you, what's, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so at least for me, I don't know. She can probably either like thumbs up or thumbs down this, whatever. There's two things. One is uh, like if a man is way too fucking silent and they're like boring, not showing any enjoyment, boring as shit. And that like gives me perspective. Is like hey, we're gonna fuck. <laughs> that sounds kind of hard you, though. Just straight yeah. face stroke videos. Could you just, imagine? Like what? Like how That's fucking so weird? Like serial killer? <laughs> are you okay? Like just <laughs> not even breathe. Just straight just, face strokes. Just intimidation right. no, phase. But like, then I'm like, okay, they're going to kill me. I'm going to die. It's fine. Yes. But then the other thing is, is like, right, like little moans and like those little grunts, those are so hot. And if I'm jerking it to your jerking it video, I need something that's a little more exciting. But then on top of it, if you're a guy and you're like, oh yeah, fuck, like I'm going to be so uncomfortable. Like this is like a preview for the game. Like that I don't know. That made me uncomfortable. This is like a trailer to the movie. Like I have to know what's going to happen. It's the audition tape. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is your black couch moment. I was honestly like, thinking about that when Speck was saying he's dead silent now. I'm not dead. Like, Come make, on. You gotta make some noise. I be man. heavy breathing. I'm a, you I'm a nasty motherfucker. You just gotta put bro. a couple grunts in, you know? Ooh. I, I, bro, I be out of breath. I'm asthmatic as wow. fuck. Oh, okay. I be like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't just know. They, they, be thinking, but... they be thinking it's like they're doing something real good, and I'm just like, I just can't breathe right now. <laughs> I need my inhaler. Hold on, I'm a little tired. <laughs> no, hold on. I've heard a lot, like, I've heard multiple times recently, motherfuckers being like, Yeah, I hit my inhaler before even starting. And I'm like, Yo, I need to get an inhaler. I could probably do a lot more. I've had friends who've like fucked asthmatic people, and they like have to stop. They hit the inhaler midway. Could you imagine this mid stroke? He reached over like, it's a yeah, real yeah. life fucking Hit that bitch with a CPAP thing. machine. <laughs> 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 sleep at me. Like, Holy really okay? shit, dude. Oh my God. But, so the little, yeah, no, the so, little nose guard cover one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Jeremy. Just put that on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's my take, y'all. Jeremy, did you leave this conversation because take. you don't be sending nut videos? Huh? You don't be sending nut videos? You've been with the same oh, woman for 10 years. You'll just nut on her. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, just come Honor. walking in the room, nut video in person. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So I guess. Have to ask yeah. For it. All right. <laughs> I didn't leave the conversation. Brittany was just yapping in the background, and she doesn't have a mic. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I thought about that. Brittany loves talking in the background, not realizing. Oh yeah. We can so, hear- as soon as she gets on the mic, though, it's over. Like, you know, everything she's got to say is over. After but that. when she gets on the mic, though, she's quiet yeah. as hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, can you shut up? We're potting. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that's it. So nut videos, the keep the sound changing. on, fellas. It's crazy yeah. to think about it, bro. Now, that, I mean, like fucking twenty years ago, like you was you was a very risque person if you were sending, you were like sending a nude through email. Yeah, bro, damn. Yeah. First dick pic now, I ever sent was on now a flip you need phone. that sound on. No, Max? listen, bro. Ask ask Brett Favre. Email leaves way too much trace. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, evidence, yeah. Trace. Brett Favre is the guy you want to go to for emails being leaked? I mean, there's quite a few out there, but Brett Favre was the, was the start. He pioneered it. Yeah. That shit. Anthony oh, man. Is my go-to reference for that. What's that? Anthony Weiner. Anthony Weiner. His last yeah. name's Weiner. It's perfect. Yeah, I don't know who Anthony Weiner is. He's a politician. Yep. Oh. Fuck that him. got exposed for, guess what? Dick pics. Sending dick, dick pics to 12-year-olds. Oh, uh, seems a really politician Maybe. thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah honestly, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a politician or a priest, you, uh, I just have very weird assumptions about you. I'm sorry. 
that's fair. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I totally do. agree with you. So like we know your sex life is boring, so you're trying to find it out there with places, and, you know, whatever. Never been a priest personally. No, nah, me I just either. Imagine they're weird as fuck. Yeah, every time I see one, I'm just like, he's one of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or the old ones, at least for sure. Yeah, all of the old ones, because those are the ones that they make it very clear that they're in this position for this long for a reason. Yep. Exactly. Oh man. <laughs> Why y'all? I don't know. I do this to myself, but I blame y'all somehow. I'm like, this is what I'd be on at 10 a.m. <laughs> on a fucking Sunday afternoon. This is supposed to be my relaxed it's day. A productive day. You talking about? You talking about nut videos with sound on it? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to blame it on us. It's fucking crazy. Damn it. <laughs> and you dry rub, which is just yeah, that's no, not. I feel like not. that's a lot more normal than you might realize. Yeah. I think uh, you're overreacting. Now nope. I understand the tub of Vaseline it's, next year, but the te- of the technique. You know? <sighs> No, I'm not. He rolling. didn't even shut that down. I just made rolling. that up. I think you it might be true. It, I, you know? No, no. The lotion, the candles, it's an experience, bro. <laughs> yeah. an no, experience. I've never tried the candles thing. Bro, one of my favorite Change things I've ever done in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I actually am really interested in this. Go into the bathroom. <laughs> oh, you Turn said all this the before. lights off. Light the candles. Turn Enya on. Poop your brains out. Fuck great. Yep. Fucking <laughs> mint. It's yep. gotta be Enya. It gotta be Enya, bro. Okay. Has to be Enya. It will change your life. Yeah, I could see it. Leave the door, door open or door closed? Door closed. Door closed. Door it's closed. a personal oh, experience man. for sure. Gotcha, very gotcha. intimate. Gotcha. Very yeah. intimate. Just you and the shit. I can't, <laughs> wait. I can't wait to hear that shit. Like, I just want to see you walk in your bedroom, close the door, and then all of a sudden that Google hits. Hey, Google, play Enya. <laughs> yeah, you got to whisper your Google to Hey, Google. Yeah. Yeah, but the, you act like you got to whisper like that speaker ain't going to be heard. <laughs> okay, here's my, Enya from Apple Music. That's my, my me time right there. That's my me time. I haven't done that in a few years. You got to create the experience, you know? Yeah. See, you got to make it gay like that. Why you got to do that? Why you, why you got to do that? Why you got to do that? You know, some of us don't like shit as aggressively as you do. I don't shit that aggressively. <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> Brittany be wanting to share toilets with Josh. She brings all the fucking. She want she want Josh to not flush so she can poop on top of she his. Poop. If we she want to make poop. She soup. She asked me yesterday if our if we could have our poops mix in the toilet. She want poop soup. <laughs> because it was a viral TikTok that I sent to him. It's weird. Interesting. I, with him. I thought you were talking about like a double decker. Same time, you know. Oh, that'd be hard. A double double, double deck. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be on top, though. Yeah, because if she poop on, on your dick, <laughs> <laughs> no, face to face. That's what I was gonna say. Like I straddle him. Yeah. And then he's no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> This is my favorite part about the pod is when I can get Jeremy to just lose his Bro, shit. I wanna, I Anytime wanna, I miss the headphones because I miss when Jeremy would just oh fuck. And what, world, and what world makes you think that I would do that? I have first fucking. All, it was a joke. First of all, I have meltdowns in the shower when you pee in there. <laughs> I do be trying to like. There are two people. Around. There are two kinds. Two kinds of people in this world. People who be in the shower and liars. 99% of yeah. them. And I've never peed in the shower. And liars. I've never peed in the shower. There we go. I've never peed in the shower. I've never peed in the shower. Two types of people. You ask, her, you ask her how big of a deal I make out of it every single time? I promise you I've never nah, peed in the shower. That is the very first thing I do every time I get in the shower. Never have oh peed in the shower. I hold my pee. I'm right in front of the toilet. I will Y'all wait to get in the shower. Nasty, I be dude. I be butt naked fucking pee pee dancing because I'm I ain't got my music ready yet. I be like fuck 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 fuck. I play the music. I set my phone down. I get in the oh shower. God. I stand in the back and I pee towards the drain. Bro, Every time. Pee pee dancing. <laughs> butt naked. Pee pee dancing. It's different in the shower. I will wait. I'm not gonna go out of my way, but if I gotta do it, I'll do it. Mm. Really I'm going out my way mm. to do it. It just feels right. Josh, you don't gotta aim, like, bro. You could just be sitting there with, getting your hair wet. And you just shh. No, thank you. Pissing all over your legs? <laughs> Not my legs, bro. In front of me. Okay. He pees on his nuts. Who bro? just be peeing down? <laughs> Not- well, you just said you're washing your hair. Singular. And shit. Like, yeah. El Uno. <laughs> you pees on El Uno. Give me that. I pee, my dick go forward. Josh, I feel like you had a, a very like powerful a piss. Traumatic experience in the shower peeing. Nope. Yeah, there's gotta be a reason you don't do that. This feels unclean. I think he slipped. Yeah, it slipped landed in, it in it one time. That would be awful. Yeah. That'd be awful. Maybe you just 
brain shut off that memory because it was too traumatic. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's Possibly. there's some repression there. Hell yeah. <laughs> we love some trouble. Real. <laughs> Builds character. <laughs> Builds character. Most people have mommy or daddy issues. Josh got pee in the shower issues. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, Jared. So you're here, bro. We're going to wrap this up. But awesome. what, what, do you, what do you need to say before we do? Tiny dicks are sweet. I mean, okay. Um, you're welcome. Don't really have anything to say. Gave you that one say. for free. Really just kind of came in here with <laughs> no idea of what the fuck was going to happen. Well, now you know. Had a good time, though. Now you know. Really enjoyed myself. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I do miss living down here, yeah. hanging out with you guys and bullshit like this. So. Yeah, no, it's fun, dude. It's it's different than with other. And you're here at the right time of year, man. I, like yeah. during the like, there's like two months in the summer where I I walk outside. And I'm like, why am I here? Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. it's really hot and like I don't mind the humidity, but it's just really hot and it rains every fucking day yep. for an hour. And you're like, dude, we just got 17 inches of rain in an hour, and then. When this time of year rolls around, I'm like, yep, now I know why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I sat outside this morning for like 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> t-shirt and shorts, just loving life. I oh, was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yeah. I was sitting in the chair. She was just watching me. I was like, you stand out here with me. At one point, she was like, can we go inside? It's really cold. I'm like, you. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's 40 degrees in Michigan right now. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> 40 degrees and the sun won't come out for another six months. Exactly. Yep. <sighs> just not happy about it, bro. No, it's it's great. I really love it out here. First time I, I met I Jared, I think I was blacked out. Yep. When I came I'm down sorry. here to visit, me and Josh came home from Sky oh, Bar. Yep. And Josh literally blacked the fuck out. He passed passed out in the back seat. He jumped into the back seat. He started in the front seat. It took by the time we got to the parking garage we were in, he was in the back seat sleeping. I was throwing got up back off to the, the house. The parking garage. <laughs> At one point I fell asleep in the fucking shower. Typical. <clears throat> and then I went out and sat on the fucking couch for a while, just playing on my phone. And Jared comes out and he's like, what's up, dude? And I'm, he was like, you want to do, you do dabs? You want to do dabs? I'm like, bro, I'm so fucked up right now. That's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You were, yeah. you were just like. I was so out of you it. You were appreciative, but you were like, there's I was not like, a I, fucking chance. A hundred percent. I was like, I, I was like, if I was in any other mindset right now, I'd probably try it. <laughs> but now is not a good time. It's honestly for sure better that you didn't do it. I, oh, really, I would have might have died. No, I have a really bad habit of getting people too high. I yep. was already I, I truly, too drunk. I truly that might, don't mean to that do that it. That might have been one of the worst hangovers I've ever had. We had to <laughs> we had to put you Went know it was a bad hangover day. when I had to pit stop on the way there yep. and shit in a Sunoco. Yep. You know you're oh. going through it when you got yep. shit in a Sunoco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. We were, There's uh, a lot of places you can shit in public. A Sunoco should not be one That's of the last place you should go to, but it was the first place we seen when we hit Tampa. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Sunoco in Tampa. That. Yep. Yep. We, were, uh, we went to a tailgate <laughs> after that. That was the day that <laughs> died. Josh is puking his brains out. He comes over and I'm, I'm like, bro, just died. He's like, oh, fuck, what happened? I'm like, overdose on Percocets, I think. And he's like, I forget what it was he said right away. This dude was cracking jokes within three minutes. He was sending me memes. <clears throat> he was... Oh, no, so... It was so, the most... So, had died of, like, an overdose, and, like, he was, like, obviously, like, throwing up and stuff like that. So, like, while I'm literally, like, puking because I'm hungover, I said, look, I'm... <laughs> oh, I was like, dude, I felt the fucking oh great. We are outside of a fucking tailgate. He's puking his brains out by a tree. I fell to the fucking dirt. That's exactly what it was. Oh my oh god. god. I was like, oh my god. And he's sending me like memes. It's like Bart Simpson fucking foaming from the mouth. And it said, look, I'm. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm out. <laughs> Listen. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is nuts, dude. Yeah. This, this was maybe five minutes after I broke the news to him. Man felt so bad about his life. That he was like, yep, I'm going. He was like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't really a fan of <laughs> Blah, blah, Five minutes later, he's like, look, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I can't confirm, but I think I might have made the first <laughs> meme. <laughs> wow. I mean, technically... Yeah. <laughs> Technically, ver verbal meme. Yeah, verbal yeah. meme. Look, I'm... <laughs> 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 
But with, it was within 10, 15 minutes. He's like, yeah, I was strolling Reddit. Check this out. Look at your phone. Five fucking <laughs> memes in my in my text messages. Uh, <laughs> anytime there's a tragedy, I immediately go to Reddit. I was like, yeah. I was like, hey, this guy is cool and all, but this, I was like, I love this motherfucker's funny. <laughs> yeah. I like who who does this? And we were very very hungover. Yep. That was. Bucks won that day. All that matters. Scott, you still owe me a jersey from that game, you bitch. <sighs> All right. Episode 50. This might get loud. We out. Out.